Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Real Deal James Neal Beer Pro Mode. And last time, uh, we found out that we clinched the playoff spot, which is great. And now, um, this is one of the four remaining regular season games before the playoffs begin. So uh, today I've got a game against the Washington Capitals for you. Uh, another Eastern Division, uh, Eastern Conference rival. And it seems to be a bit of a theme actually. Uh, we seem to be playing a lot of Eastern teams at the end of the season. I don't know whether, I don't, I don't know why that seems to be the case, but yeah, it seems to have been that uh, if we wanted, if we were struggling to make the playoffs, we had the chance to uh, to move up the league because of the fact we were playing a lot of Eastern Conference sides uh, near the end of the season. So, because the last episode was a short one and it was really just about uh, reaching the playoffs and uh, reviewing some of the stats. I didn't get a chance to expand on what I was talking about in episode 28 about what games I want to be playing in, uh, in the future on the channel. So in episode 28 I touched on um, the FIFA and the NHL side of things. So today I think I'm going to talk about other things that I will look to uh, look to bring to the channel in, uh, in future months. So as I said in the, in the last... Uh, in the last video about this, NHL wise, it's going to be a beer pro mode, uh, some shootout commentaries, and possibly a GM mode. Not too sure on that. FIFA wise, we're going to do in a seasons. Let's talk about and a ultimate team, um, just a play through the year kind of thing. Hopefully, now I'm thinking of doing some Call of Duty stuff. Possibly, um, again, some of the guys I usually play with involved um, I don't know what the, the sound quality would be like though with the uh, the mic situation um, but we are try that out at some point because we, we we go back and we play old Call of Duty's quite often like recently we've been playing a bit of World at War um, but there's only like 5,000 people under 5,000 people actually playing online uh, and when you get in a game with no hackers, it's actually really fun uh, to go back to playing those old, old school CODs. You know, with the with the old school kill streaks, you got the the recon playing at three, artillery at five, and the dogs at seven. Um, you can really rack up some kills actually, and the guns are just quality as well. You know, the old school guns, uh, old school snipers. It it was a, I thought it was a better rounded game really than the ones we have now in terms of like all the kill streaks and. Uh, stuff like that so I, I probably will be getting a new Call of Duty Call of Duty Ghosts um, I actually haven't owned the Black Ops uh, Call of Duty uh, haven't owned, uh, uh, owned Black Ops 1 or 2 um, because I didn't particularly I played it and I'd, eh, I I didn't particularly like it too much I had uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 so Ghost would be the natural progression from there. Uh, I can go back and play a bit of uh, Modern Warfare 2. Maybe, you know, that, that was one of my favourite cards as well. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, I still play every now and again. Because um, quite a few people still play that, it seems. Uh, just by the amount of people online. So Call of Duty is something I'm looking to uh, to bring to the channel. Not very often, you know, maybe once every, every couple of weeks or so. And maybe... Uh, a bit of NBA possibly as well um, I'm gonna get the demo when the new NBA 2k14 comes out and see what I think of it because I almost bought it last year but uh, this year I'm thinking that I, c I could I'm probably more likely to buy it than I was last year uh, I want to continue the Minecraft stuff um, and possibly look to take that to PC level um, Maybe look to get on some servers, uh, maybe play some Hunger Games, stuff like that. I know everyone does that who does Minecraft, but you know, it, it's something different. I can, and with that kind of thing, I can just record a bunch of it in advance and just uh, release it gradually. Uh, kind of like what I've done with the Be a Pro Mode, where I'm not doing um, live commentaries over it, but obviously with the Minecraft Hunger Games, I would. So that's one thing I'm thinking of doing. Now, in terms of other Xbox stuff, I was thinking about doing a let's play of a uh, like a, 
like a story mode kind of thing. Um, but I don't know what. If anything comes out and it catches my eye, then I will, I will look to do that. Because again, I can I can play it for for three days, complete the game, save all the footage, and gradually release it, which uh, which is perfect really for what I want to do in terms of like I can release it after work or something or something like that. So that so that would work out perfectly, really. The obvious choice at the moment in terms of a let's play would be GTA Five, but you know that's going to take ages to complete, and you know you never really complete a GTA. Uh, I guess I could look to complete all the missions. I watched uh, an extended trailer recently, and it looked really, really good in terms of uh, taking on the role of, I think it's three different characters, and being able to drop in with each of them whenever you like. It looks really, really good. Uh, I haven't played GTA 4 for a while, actually. It's uh, just been <laughs> sitting on the shelf, gathering a bit of dust. Maybe I should go back and play that. And... Uh, I look to reminisce about the good old GTA days, but you know, I I I will get GTA Five. Um, I've had most of the GTAs, so in terms of recording all of it, I don't think I would be able to, um, because generally what I like to do is like to sit down and just play it for a couple of hours and <coughs> have a wander round, really, and you know. That, it's going to be very hard to uh, to commentate over that kind of thing for me at the moment. And also, you know, I don't know whether you guys are going to particularly want to just hear me talking about something unrelated to the game. So I really want to try and do a Let's Play of a game where it's it's a very strict uh, narrative. Can't go too, too much off of the narrative. Um... So that I don't get distracted, don't go off on a tangent, uh, don't start doing some side missions, which which you guys wouldn't want to see. So yeah, yeah, I think I I will be getting GTA Five, but I don't think I'll be posting any of it on the uh, on the channel unless something really cool happens or there's some kind of uh, different side stories which I could uh, I could I could maybe put uh, put on the channel. So guys, that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next episode will be game 80, I believe, of the regular season. So two more games after that. Uh, so yeah, I hope you have a good one. And I shall see you in episode 31. I'm Gary Thorne along with Bill Clement. Thanks everybody on behalf of EA Sports. A pleasant good evening.